Daniel Sports Central, we go for a USFL game preview and prediction on the week two matchup between the Pittsburgh Molars and the Philadelphia Stars. Both teams looking for their first wins of the season in this matchup, as both teams did lose their week one matchups, but the door is still wide open for both these teams to have good seasons. Should make for a good matchup. We'll be going for a full game preview and prediction on this match here today, starting out with your team trends. Pittsburgh lost at Tampa Bay 3-17 in their week one matchup. Only got three points in that loss against the Bandits. And the Maulers, of course, being a team that I consider to be the big wild card team of the league. And I kind of said this in my week one rankings before the season started, the preseason rankings. The Maulers have got talent to be the best team in the league, but at the same time, we don't know enough about this team to, to give them an accurate prediction. So, I mean, they could easily uh, be the worst as well. And they certainly did not look very good in week one as they only put up three points on the board. Defensively, they weren't terrible, but offensively, it really was a struggle for this team. They um, hardly got any yards, and I mean, it was a lot of it was a lot of three and outs for this Pittsburgh team in Week One. So they're 0 1. If look at the Stars on the flip side, they kept it close against the Breakers, the New Orleans Breakers. Uh, took the loss there, 17 to 23, but uh, it certainly was closer, and it felt like the Stars were more relevant in that game than how it was for the Maulers and the Bandits. I mean, the Bandits just controlled that game, it seemed like, from start to finish. And even though, I mean, I just feel like the Bandits there, I mean, it, it, there never really was a time where we thought that the Maulers would uh, have a chance to to come back. And, I mean, offensively, it just was not working out for them. So both teams are 0-1 heading into this matchup. Once again, both teams looking for the first wins of the season here in this matchup. Gives me on Saturday, April 23rd in Birmingham, as all the games are for this USFL. Um, for the season and your kickoff is noon eastern spreads going with or actually it's gonna be even for this matchup right now that could change over time as the odds have just come out but as of right now the spread is even and if it goes either way i do expect it to go towards uh philadelphia i mean i wouldn't be surprised if it went towards the maulers here but i do think the stars probably would be i mean it might be a one to a three point spread i'd say at most but then again that could change but uh, the Stars, if any team will be favored in this matchup, I do expect it to be Philadelphia. In our Week 2 rankings, we have these two teams ranked 6th and 7th, respectively. We got the Stars at number 6 and the Maulers at number 7. So Philadelphia, I mean, I just see more upside with the Stars right now. I did have the Maulers ranked, I think, 5th in Week 1, but obviously with that loss, uh, they certainly did not look good. So we'll see. I mean, they got to have a good performance before I rank him any higher than 7. But uh, Philadelphia, I do show, or I do see potential here. Uh, with the Stars, even though they did take a loss um, in week one against New Orleans. And your over-under is 37 and a half as well for this matchup. Here's your stat comparison. These are just your stats from last week. You can see the Maulers. Um, they got 97 pass yards last week and 89 rush yards. I mean, they didn't, they didn't get above 100 yards um, in the passing or the rushing categories, which is definitely a concern. That's uh, that's not good. I mean, if you look at offensive stats, I mean, that's that's pretty poor. I mean, the Maulers were under 200 total yards in that game against the Bandits. Yards allowed, they got 180, or they allowed 180 against the Bandits of passing and then 64 for rushing. As for Philadelphia, 173 pass yards, 73 rush yards, and then for yards allowed, 150 passing, 171 for rushing. So they did allow a lot of rush yards um, to New Orleans, 171. But then again, the Breakers are going to be more of a rushing football team. Their passing game slowed I mean, the Breakers aren't quite as good in that area. The receiving core has got talent, but the rushing game, I think, is going to be kind of the main uh, the main feature, the main, the main uh, skill for the Breakers' offense. So it makes sense why uh, the Breakers did get a lot more yards of rushing in that matchup. But, I mean, then again, for the Stars, you got to be better uh, with rushing defense. You can't be allowing 171 rush yards a game if you expect to uh, win football games. Here's some key points for this one. Mullers, of course, couldn't get anything going offensively. That was a big concern um, in that Bandits matchup. I mean, they just, yeah, they couldn't get anything going. They got three points, and that was it um, for that matchup. Defensively, they do show some upside. I do think, I mean, the Bandits in general are the most complete team, if you ask me, in the USFL. They got, I mean, offensively, they got Jordan Tayamu, who I do consider to be the best quarterback in the league. Uh, defensively, they... They definitely show some some potential and upside for sure. And, I mean, defensively, I mean, for example, they only held the Maulers to three points. So I do think the Bandits are the most complete team in this league for sure. But the Maulers couldn't get anything going. And defensively, they allowed 17 points. Um, 17 points to the Bandits, which you could consider maybe good. They also picked off 
uh, Jordan and Tiamu two times. So that also is a positive, but they got the capability of being the best or the worst in this league, as I've mentioned before. I mean, there's no doubt that Mars, I mean, they got talent to be one of the best teams in the league, but uh, once you put it all together, does it always work out that way? Not so much. Look at the, star, or the, uh, the stars here. They kept it close with the breakers in week one. Passing game looked decent. Not the rushing game, though. Uh, the passing game was okay for the stars. They heavily leaned on that. Uh, so we'll see how they do there heading into, um, I mean, Scott, he threw like 36 times, 35, 36 times in the week one matchup against New Orleans. So they, they relied on him a lot and he overall played decently, but we'll see how he does going into um, week two. Rush defense was an issue last week, though. Uh, I mean, then again, the Breakers, once again, are a pretty good team rushing wise, I do think, but it is something to keep in mind here. But that said, Let's look at the prediction here for Mullers and Stars coming up here in week two of the USFL. I'm going to be going with the Stars here to get the win. 20-17 to 17 is my predicted final score, and this is a tough one to pick. You got two teams that obviously took losses in week one. I do think are pretty evenly matched. I've got the Stars ranked number six this week and the Mullers ranked number seven. But I do think Philadelphia here, I feel more comfortable picking them, especially after the Mullers' performance against the Bandits. They just came out looking flat offensively, couldn't get anything going. And until their offense puts up a good matchup or a good game and puts up some good stats, I don't feel comfortable picking Pittsburgh right now. But I do feel like with the Stars, they show, they show upside for sure, and uh, they definitely are still able to have a good season. And I feel like both teams are still able to have good seasons for sure, despite taking losses in Week 1. But I'm going to go Stars here. 20-17 to 17 is my predicted final score. 55% towards Philly here. Over under is 37.5. I'm going to take the under for this game just barely um with 37 total points here over under that could shift over time but right now it is 37 and a half i'm gonna take philadelphia to cover the spread as well um as it is even right now we'll see how that leans but as of right now i do have the stars winning by three but that said, that's gonna wrap it up for today let me know your thoughts and comments below on this game and i appreciate you guys are watching as always stay tuned for more from all sports central catch you on the next one